from the far reaches of the Milky Way galaxy. It's Retro Nerd Girl with a video for you that's going to be all chitty chatty and stuff. <laughs> I just wanted to talk to you guys about how I'm doing and I hope you guys are doing well. The new year kind of came really hot and fast and I have to say I really was kind of taken aback about the way the new year made me feel um, and how I felt about 2021. I was really disappointed in 2021. A lot of things that I wanted to do never happened and I was very discouraged at the end of 2021. And going into 2022, I really want to come in with a plan. And I do have a plan, <laughs> which is actually really good. Um, what my plan is, is that I want to kind of take it back to the beginning when I first started making videos on YouTube. I actually had like 10 or 12 videos kind of planned ahead of time. And then I started releasing them building up reviews instead of doing one review at a time i was doing like a whole bunch of reviews and then i was able to kind of release them rather quickly and so that is what i've been working on for the last two months it has been really stressful because i've been freaking out about not releasing anything so I'm just going to run down really quickly what it takes for me to review a film. If I could do this whole process in one day, that would be awesome. But it would be like for a two minute movie. <laughs> so my first thing that I do is, of course, I watch the film. Now, how many times I watch the film depends on the film. Then I take notes while I'm watching the film. And uh, sometimes I'll stop the film to take those notes. And sometimes I'll be like in bed sleeping and I get an idea and then I'll write down the notes by my bedside table. Or I'll, you know, be just doing something totally different. I'll be cooking and then I'll get an idea and then I'll write down the notes. So the notes happen when they happen. Sometimes... They happen after the script is already done. I may have a few extra notes that I add in. So after I take all my notes, I do research. And research can take a very long time because it is watching videos. It's watching behind the scenes videos. It's be watching any making of um, videos that are available. Sometimes there isn't any and sometimes there's a lot. There are you know, interviews, premieres, any kind of written information, Wikipedia. I know some people are like, oh, Wikipedia is not accurate. And uh, yeah, I will agree <laughs> that some of the stuff isn't entirely accurate on, on Wikipedia or IMBD. But a lot of times it's correct. And so I have to like research the best that I can and look at those things and sometimes I'll find random articles and I'll find like random um, just random information uh, from like odd weird websites from I don't know where but I'll just I'll find you know I'll find that part of the research is also sometimes reading a book I've also had audiobooks uh, read to me. So I really try to do as much research as possible. There's some movies I won't read the books for and that's fine. Okay, so the next step is collecting all of the photos still. So it's just playing the movie, stopping the film where I want it to stop, taking a picture of my screen, then putting it in Photoshop, cropping the screen down, and then organizing each section of the, f the film into their own file. Like I'll have a file for the main character and their supporting characters, places, posters, all sorts of stuff. So I, I write the script. I have a template to help me organize everything, but it also coming up with original stuff based on like the research, put things in my own words, organize all of the information from the research and my notes into a place where it makes sense to enter them into the conversation of the script you know so it just takes a lot of time to organize all that and to write it 
and to make it convey the things that stand out in the movie that affected me as a, a viewer. So that that's really the part of the review that really, I think, anchors it for me and the part that means the most. So it takes some time to get there. It sounds like you would just like talk about something and it all will just fall into place. But it just it doesn't. Not for me. It just doesn't all fall into place for me. It takes time. And that could take from a week to like three months. I mean, it's really a, a crapshoot because I really don't know. And sometimes I don't feel like writing about something. It's really hard. Like It's like I cannot get into this right now. <laughs> it's really funny because I'll be like, oh my God, I love this movie. I can talk about this movie for hours. Why can't I write the script? And it's just... It, it's one of those weird things that happen. I get stuck, and when I'm stuck, I'm stuck. I cannot get out. Um, I cannot figure it out. So that's the roughest part of it. Once that's done, I have to record the audio. When I record the audio, I do stutter a lot, and I don't exactly pronounce all my words properly or concisely. So it is an effort for me to pronounce things in a certain way so that way it's clear to everyone and also still pull forth some of my own personality and trying to also sound kind of professional too at the same time. <laughs> It's not it's not easy. I, I also have allergies. So as soon as I start recording, my allergies get like completely activated and it's like coughing, sneezing. It's kind of an odd thing that happens during the audio record. Then after I'm done with the audio record, then I audio edit. And there's so many different techniques to audio edit. It used to be the worst part for me. Now it's like not so bad because I use a tool called Descript. And that has been so helpful in the editing of my videos. It's been working out very well. Unfortunately, it's another bill that I have to pay, but Patreon is paying for that. That really helps in the long run to get videos out to you guys, so I'm really happy about that. After the audio edit, then I import the audio into my template file for videos, and then I start to insert all of the photos that I need to go along with the audio. So that's a process. It could take a couple of days. It could take a couple of weeks <laughs> or a week. I would say it takes about a week. Sometimes when I'm editing, I need a photo that I don't have. Sometimes I'll need the director's photo or some sort of behind the scenes photo. I'll need all those things to kind of tell the story that I wrote in the script. So that sometimes that's a challenge because I've got to stop everything and I've got to go hunt down these photos. I love editing that part to be very honest with you. It's my favorite part of the process. And it also means we're almost done, right? So that's the part that's fun. I add the music and all that stuff. That's part of a template, but I also have to make sure it all fits in the right places where it's supposed to. And I can't have the video too long because it could be really challenging for the next couple of steps. Okay, so the next step is making the thumbnail, which is sometimes I can get a photo from one of the pictures that I'm using for my video edit, or I can use an actual poster for the thumbnail and just arranging that so it makes sense and people can see what's going on is very, very important. That can take, that doesn't take very long. It takes, sometimes it can take 15 minutes. Sometimes it can take an hour, depending on how hard it is to do. The next process is the worst process um, of the whole thing that drives me insane, which is exporting the files. There's no way to make it faster, okay? I've tried. There isn't any way to make exporting files faster. If you, you make videos, you know what this is. <laughs> Okay, so basically you take the file that you have, which is some sort of document that works with your editing program, and you're making it an MP4 file out of it, or MP3, or M any kind of file that you're making, but I make MP4s because they work really well with YouTube. So that could take a day. That could take a full day that I can't use my computer for anything. Can't do anything on that thing except for let it export that file. 
So if my video is about 25 minutes, that could take up to eight hours. So what I do is I do this when I go to work. So, <laughs> so before I go to work, I will export my file. So that way when I come home from work, crossing my fingers, hopefully it is actually exported by the time I get home. And I can use my computer for other things. But there are times when it will take more. There, there was one day it took two days and it was the worst. Okay, so then I have the upload process. The upload process must take about an hour and then I will put it on Patreon because they get priority to see the video first. And then if anybody tells me like, hey, you forgot this, uh, they give me notes or whatever that I you know I forgot something or something's missing or there's a problem then I can actually go in and do a final edit of the video and make the changes that I need to make which are probably very minimal at this point and then I can post it on YouTube for everybody to see and then I post it on my blog and on the blog is where all the written materials that didn't make it into the video and and that's pretty much it. So that's the entire process of how I make my videos. I think I explained it before, but this is really way more concise. And for my Patreons, I will start including all of these factors into the update so you can get a little bit more information on how far along it's going to I think it's going to be great. So guys, videos are coming. I'm actually working on seven new movies right now that I'm like simultaneously working on the next one is coming really soon i can't i won't promise a date just yet but it's coming and after february things should be like piling out a, lo a lot quicker and a lot faster and this will help me out a bunch because then i don't have to feel this anxiety about like oh i have to put out a video and i have to get it done and it's just been wrecking me psychologically and has been really making things a lot more difficult. And I love doing this. So I don't know why there's so much pressure. You know, I, I don't I don't know why I put so much self pressure into doing this, but I I need to be a lot easier on myself. So that's uh, that's just it. <laughs> that's all I have to say it's, it's it was very chatty it was very chatty this video but uh, I wanted to talk to you guys I wanted to reach out to you I do miss you and I, I miss uploading and I, I am again working behind the scenes I am going to sign off right now <laughs> videos are coming stay subscribed it's going to be awesome 2022 it is off to a good start because there is intense planning intense work going on behind the scenes and i wanted to kind of share that with you okay so this is retro nerd girl signing off take care movie lovers i'm off to my next video